Hello, Math Talino students! Welcome to Math Talino Classroom. Ngayong araw, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba ipa-factor out ang isang sum or difference of two cubes. We'll start with this simple activity. Multiply the given binomial and trinomial to get the product. For the first one, right. It is equal to x cubed plus 27. For the second one, correct. It is equal to 8 minus y cubed. For the third one, nice. It is equal to 8x cubed plus y cubed. And for the fourth one, Great! It is equal to 1 minus 64 y cubed. From our previous activity, we have multiplied a binomial and a trinomial to get the following results. Ang right side expressions ay tinatawag nating sum of two cubes. Bakit? Dahil ang first at second terms ay perfect cubes. Ibig sabihin, makakahanap tayo ng number o term na kapag gagamitin natin as a factor ng tatlong beses, ang results ay ang given perfect cubes. For instance, in the first one, 8x cubed is equal to 2x times 2x times 2x. And y cubed is equal to y times y times y. And for the second one, x cubed is equal to x times x times x and 27 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. Moreover, yung dalawang terms ay separated ng plus sign. That is why, again, sum of two cubes ang tawag sa kanila. The other two results are the following, na kung saan ang right side expression ay tinatawag nating difference of two cubes. With the same reasons, ang kanilang first at second terms ay perfect cubes. For instance, in the first one, 1 is equal to 1 times 1 times 1, and 64y cubed is equal to 4y times 4y times 4y. And for the second one, 8 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2, and y cubed is equal to y times y times y. Moreover, yung dalawang terms ay separated ng minus sign. Having the idea that a sum or difference of two cubes resulted from multiplying a binomial and trinomial, meron na tayong idea kung paano ipa-factor ang mga ganitong klaseng polynomials by simply reversing the process. So, ano nga ba ang mga steps sa pag-factor ng sum or difference of two cubes? First, we determine the cube root of the first and second term. And second, we express the given sum or difference of two cubes as a product of a binomial and a trinomial by following the pattern. In our binomial factor, its two terms are the cube roots of the first and second terms, and the operation between them is the same as the operation between the given sum or difference of two cubes. And in our trinomial factor, the first term is square of cube root of first term, second term is cube root of first term times cube root of second term, Third term is square of cube root of second term. And of course, the signs of the first and third term are positive, while the sign of the second term is always opposite the operation used between the binomial factor. Medyo mahaba-haba ang steps, kaya isimplify natin through these few examples. Let's factor out a cube plus a. Ito ay isang sum of two cubes, since a cube is equal to the cube of a, 8 is equal to the cube of 2, and they are separated by a plus sign. So, we proceed in factoring it out. Ang cube roots ng first and second terms ay a at 2, respectively. At sila ang gagamitin natin to form our binomial and trinomial factor. For our binomial factor, we have a and 2, 
separated by a plus sign since the given is a sum of two cubes. We can easily form our trinomial factor by following these steps using the terms in our binomial factor. First, square the first term. Next, square the second term. And lastly, multiply the first and second term. To complete the remaining signs, remember that the sign of the second term in our trinomial factor is opposite the operation used in our binomial factor. And also, the last term should always be positive. Hence, the factored form of a cubed plus a is the quantity a plus 2 times the quantity a squared minus 2a plus 4. For our second example, we factor out b cubed minus 27. This time, ito ay isang difference of 2 cubes since b cubed is equal to the cube of b, 27 is equal to the cube of 3, and they are separated by a minus sign. We now begin to factor out this one. Ang cube roots ng first at second terms ay b and 3, respectively. So, to form our binomial and trinomial factor, gagamitin natin itong cube roots na nakuha natin. For our binomial factor, we have b and 3 and separated by a minus sign since we have a difference of 2 cubes. Using this binomial factor, we form our trinomial factor. First, square the first term. Next, square the second term. And lastly, multiply the first and second term. This time, the sign of our second term in the trinomial factor is positive since it should always be opposite the operation used in our binomial factor. And again, the last term is always positive. Hence, the factored form of b cubed minus 27 is the quantity b minus 3 times the quantity b squared plus 3b plus 9. For the next example, factor 1 minus 8y cubed. Kapareho ng ikalawang example, ito ay difference of 2 cubes since 1 is equal to the cube of 1, 8y cubed is equal to the cube of 2y, and they are separated by a minus sign. So, i-apply na natin ang steps sa pag-factor ng ganitong klaseng polynomial. Taking the cube roots of the first and second terms, we have 1 and 2y respectively. Let's now set up our binomial and trinomial factor. So, for our binomial factor, we have 1 and 2y separated by a minus sign. And for our trinomial factor, we square the first term, square the second term, and lastly, multiply the first and second term. The sign of our second term in the trinomial factor must be positive since it should always be opposite the operation used in our binomial factor. And the last term is always positive. Hence, the factored form of 1 minus 8y cubed is the quantity 1 minus 2y times the quantity 1 plus 2y plus 4y squared. And for our last example, factor 27p cubed plus q cubed. It's a sum of two cubes since 27p cubed is equal to the cube of 3p. q cubed is equal to the cube of q and they are separated by a plus sign. So, to factor this out, we take the cube roots of the first and second terms. 
So we have 3P and Q, respectively. Let us now form our binomial and trinomial factor. For our binomial factor, we have 3P and Q separated by a plus sign. And for our trinomial factor, we square the first term. Next, square the second term. And lastly, multiply the first and second term. The sign of our second term in the trinomial factor is negative. And the last term is always positive. Hence, the factored form of 27p cubed plus q cubed is the quantity 3p plus q times the quantity 9p squared minus 3p cubed plus q squared. The steps that we have followed in our examples are a bit longer, so we can just familiarize the following formula. If we have a sum of two cubes of the form a cubed plus b cubed, its factored form is the product of the binomial a plus b and the trinomial a squared minus ab plus b squared. And if we have a difference of two cubes of the form a cubed minus b cubed, its factored form is the product of the binomial a minus b and the trinomial a squared plus ab plus b squared, wherein a and b are the cube roots of the first and second terms of the given sum or difference of two cubes. Let's apply what we have learned. Express each polynomial into its factored form. For your hint, apply common monomial factoring first if possible. Now, let us discuss the answers. For number 1, it is a difference of two cubes. Taking the cube roots of the first and second terms, we have m and 5 respectively. Setting up our factors, for our binomial, we have m minus 5. For the trinomial, first term is m squared and third term is 25. We get them by squaring the first and second terms in our binomial factor. And our middle term is 5m from the product of the first and second term in the binomial factor. The sign of the middle term is positive and the third term is positive. Hence, the factored form of m cubed minus 125 is the quantity m minus 5 times the quantity m squared plus 5m plus 25. For number 2, it's a sum of two cubes. Taking the cube roots of the first and second terms, we have 2s and 3t, respectively. Setting up our factors, so for our binomial factor, we have 2s plus 3t. For the trinomial factor, first term is 4s squared and third term is 9t squared. And our middle term is 6st. The sign of the middle term is negative and the third term is always positive. Hence, the factored form of 8s cubed plus 27t cubed is the quantity 2s plus 3t times the quantity 4s squared minus 6st plus 9e squared. And for number 3, at first glance, it is not a difference of two cubes. But, if we will notice, we can factor out a common monomial factor of 2. So, we factor out 2 first and we will see that the remaining factor is now a difference of two cubes. So, we factor out further. By taking the cube roots of the first and second terms, we have 2 and x respectively. Setting up our factors, for our binomial factor, we have 2 minus x. And for the trinomial, first term is 4 and third term is x squared. And our middle term is 2x. The sign of the middle term is 
positive and the third term is always positive. Hence, the factored form of 16 minus 2x cubed is 2 times the quantity 2 minus x times the quantity 4 plus 2x plus x squared. Do you have any questions about our lesson? If none, test yourself by answering the following. You may pause the video for a while to answer and comment down your answers when you are done. That's all for the day class. Goodbye!